brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Alison Mora Alison Mora is an American alternative country singer and the younger sister of Shelby Lynn. She signed to MCA Nashville in 1998 and made her debut on the U.S. Billboard country charts. With the release of her debut single, A Soft Place to Fall, which reached number 73. Since the release of her debut album Alabama Song, she released seven albums and 11 singles, five of which reached positions on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. Early Years Mora was raised in Monroeville, Alabama, just north of Mobile. Raised on George Jones and Tammy Wynette, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash and Emmy Lou Harris. She sang harmonies as a toddler, eventually thinking she'd make a career of it. Following the murder-suicide of her parents in 1986, she moved into her aunt and uncle's home. Musical career Not long afterwards, sister Shelby Lynn moved to Nashville for a career in music. And after her high school graduation, Maura followed. She sang harmonies with her sister for a while, but returned to Alabama to earn a degree in public relations. She skipped the graduation ceremony to move back to Nashville. There, she met Doyle, Butch, Prim, an Oklahoma-reared musician who soon became her husband and frequent songwriting partner. In June 1996, she took part in a series of tributes to her songwriter friend. The late Walter Hyatt, singing his Tell Me Baby at Nashville's Ryman Auditorium. Nashville agent Bobby Cudd was sufficiently impressed to introduce her to producer Tony Brown. After a few meetings, Brown asked her to cut some demos, from which two tracks, Pardon Me and Call My Name, ended up on her first MCA album, Alabama Song. Her song, A Soft Place, to Fall was tapped for Robert Redford's The Horse Whisperer in 1998. And she also appeared in the movie. Because the ballad earned her an Academy Award nomination, she performed it on the 1999 Oscar ceremony. However, none of her singles from Alabama Song or its follow-up The Hardest Part got much radio play, though both projects were highly praised by critics. Mora's version of the traditional folk song, Moonshiner, was featured in the 2000 film, Songcatcher. When Brown moved from MCA to sister label Universal South, Mora followed. Her 2002 album Misfortune earned more raves, but didn't meet sales expectations. She almost got another big break by recording the duet, Picture, with Kid Rock after Sheryl Crow had bowed out. However, Crow changed her mind, and the rock, Crow version became a huge radio hit. Yet, the song was credited on the charts to both Crow and Mora. In addition, the CD single featuring Mora sold 500,000 copies and is certified gold by the RIAA. Her ballad, Tumbling Down, was featured on the soundtrack of the popular 2002 film The Rookie. Her album show was recorded in one night at the 12th and Porter in Nashville. And despite popular belief, it features the first recorded collaboration by both Mora sisters. After releasing show in a DVD on Universal South, Mora moved to independent label Sugar Hill Records, with a slightly rougher edge than past efforts. The Jewel was released in April 2004. A year after the duel, Maura divorced Prim and married Steve Earle after serving as his opening act on a European tour. Earle produced her 2006 album, Getting Somewhere. Maura wrote all the songs, with the exception of one co-written with Earle. She and Earle were nominated for a Grammy Award in the category Best Country Collaboration with Vocals for the song. Days Aren't Long Enough from Earl's Washington Square Serenade. Mora gave birth 
to the couple's first child, John Henry Earl, on April 5, 2010. In March 2014, Earl announced that he and Maura had separated. Maura released the Buddy Miller-produced Mockingbird in February 2008, an album mainly of covers of songs by female singer-songwriters including her sister, Shelby Lynn. In 2009, Maura performed in The People Speak, a documentary feature film that uses dramatic and musical performances of the letters, diaries, and speeches of everyday Americans, based on historian Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States. Also, in 2009, she appeared on the BBC series Transatlantic Sessions, series 4, episodes 4 and 5, performing a version of the Irish folk song, Carrick Fergus. In 2015, Maura released Down to Believing, the album marked a return to collaborating with Kenny Greenberg. Maura said in an interview, he produced my first two albums, and I just felt like the time was right for us to work together again. He's simply one of my most favorite guitar players. He's probably my favorite guitar player, and he's definitely the guitar player that I know the best. I'm very comfortable with him as a producer. He's someone that I trust implicitly as a human being and a musician. And I think the time was right for us to do it. On August 18, 2017, Maura will release a collaborative record with her sister Shelby Lynn titled, Not Dark Yet. Produced by British folk singer Teddy Thompson, it will feature covers of songs by Merle Haggard. Bob Dylan, Nirvana and The Killers as well as an original recording. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.